Hey, welcome to One Verse. My name is Matt. We got a short one verse today that takes a lifetime to learn. You'll see what I mean in a second. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and all the way down in verse 20. And it says, You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Such a simple verse, such a simple teaching, and yet so complicated when it comes to living this verse out. We were bought with a price. Now, that's not usually language that we like to use today, right? Like usually when we're talking about buying someone with, you know, f- uh, for a price, it's not a good connotation, right? But we're, we're not talking about slavery here. We're actually talking about something much deeper. We'll t- we're talking about our spiritual lives because we were, in fact, slaves to sin, that we were in bondage to sin, that we were prisoners to this lifestyle of sin. And and there's only one pathway that sin leads to, and that is towards death and hell and destruction. And so Jesus came, lived a sinless life, died on the cross, rose again on the third day, and offered a salvation. He literally paid our sin debt. That's what that's talking about. That his blood, his perfect life, paid the penalty for sin that we would never be able to do. So now what? Well, this verse tells us, therefore, because of what Jesus did on the cross, because of what he did for you, because of the salvation that he offers us, therefore, because of that, honor God with your bodies. In other words, you should be so thankful and so grateful every day realizing what God has done for you that all you want to do is reflect that back to him. Now, this is more about than just living a a righteous life. This is actually worship. Worship is more than seeing. Worship is how we live our lives. And how is that worship? Because of this verse. Because we are then reflecting back to God and saying, hey, God, I am so thankful thankful for what you've done for me and the salvation that you've given me and how you've saved me from the penalty of sin that I am now going to dedicate my life to living for you. It's hard to do, but that's what we're called to do for those who trust in Christ. Have a great day.